private burial was held Tuesday for former Russian mercenary boss Yevgeny Prigozhin, nearly a week after he and nine others died in a suspicious plane crash north of Moscow. Security was tight at the St. Petersburg Cemetery where the ceremony took place. Members of the Russian National Guard were posted around the facility to keep the public out. Russian media say the family wished the event to stay private in stark contrast to a separate ceremony in which one of Prigozhin's Wagner Group deputies was buried. Memorials for those killed in last week's crash have been growing in several Russian cities. Seems uh, pretty evident what happened here. Uh, that, uh, as, as the president said, that, said this recently, I believe as early as last week, that, and I quote, there's not much that happens in Russia that Putin is not behind. Uh, and if, it's, uh, if this is what it seems uh, to be, this, this what is uh, certainly was not uh, just predictable, but it was predicted, if I should, I should say. Uh, we, all, we all know that the Kremlin has a long history of killing its opponents. Uh, that is the history of, of the Kremlin. And if we take a step back, if you look back for a second, all of this uh, happened because of dysfunction inside Russia. A, a Russian warlord himself, a cold-blooded killer, a cold-blooded murderer, uh, became so frustrated by the way that the Russian government was uh, waging its unprovoked war against Ukraine uh, that he criticized Russia's uh, f failing policies. Uh, and so now, two months later, after he, he struck that deal, he's been killed. So, um, you know, it's very clear. The, uh, it's pretty evident what happened here.